Hi everyone, I'm going to do today a flip through. I've finished a, some journals. These are, all these are the calendars that I reused, <laughs> recycled <laughs> into an art journal. I've uh, showed you this in one of my live streams. I can put the link to, to it in the description description box below i'm going to start and only if there is something interesting i will uh, talk about what's going on on the page some of them i don't remember like this one because i started it a long time ago and here in the calendars it's mostly all kinds of leftovers leftover pieces of painty papers and all kinds of stuff that I wanted to use I wanted to use the calendar and I wanted to use all my stashes so I'm going to start and this calendar I left as is that it can be it can stand I didn't cut this and turn it into a complete journal so it can stand on my desk and I can always flip and get inspiration from the pages so I've done on both sides of the pages um, I've journaled on both sides so it's just little pieces that I had and just put them in this journal Already as I'm flipping through, I'm getting all kinds of ideas for other uh, pages. You see, it's just torn paper from all kinds of painted paper and then some stenciling. I like tearing paper and making all kinds of stuff with it just a gel print in the back with the stencil sometimes it's some a uh, painty paper with a stencil and i have all kinds of um postcards and stuff that i've uh, accumulated through going to museums and all kinds of stuff and it doesn't do anything by staying in the stash so i decided it's time to uh, to use them in my art so this is from the mucha uh, museum in prague Some of my ATCs that I've done also into this kind of a journal. This was a greeting card, a lovely greeting card that I got and I just had to use the koala in one of the pages. He's so cute. That's one. Next. <laughs> Oopsie. I need to fix this. Okay. Another ATC. All kinds of uh, images that I've cut out if it's from magazine and uh, all kinds of stuff and waited to be used and find a home found a home in this uh, calendars turned into journals sometimes things that i print to make something else i print something like this bird to make a drawing of a bird and i don't want to throw away what I've printed, then I'll fussy cut it and find a home for it in the journals.
This penguin was also on some a postcard and waited to find a home. These uh, images were cut from a um, wrapping paper. I really like them, so I've glued them to a stiffer paper and cut them and they found a home here. I really like this page. It's kind of whimsical. So that's another one. Just on pay pages in the back. And here, used some washi tape just to make something interesting here. Most of these are wipe out um, using leftover paint and wipe a, all kind of leftover on pages and then I use the pages to create this background. I think this one was either from National Geographic or a magazine. I really like what's going on here. It's so simple. It's just an image that I liked. And here is another page from my notebook for Access Paint that I just cleaned leftovers and it just turned out great. Here you can actually see how I just smeared paint that I had left over and it's so interesting so sometimes the best <laughs> backgrounds the best painty papers collage papers are the ones that you don't plan that you just smear paint on them did I miss a page no So this is it, that's another one. This I've done in, there is a, um, a video of how to do something like this. A, only I showed how to do it on paper. Here I also uh, put a CD so there will be this reflection. But it's the same uh, technique of doing this. All kinds of stuff that I had laying around. I had it for years. Some it, the technique of making um, the appearance of a ring, not wrinkles, um, crackle, which you do with paint and glue. And after it, after that, I glued a piece of a paper napkin. And I had this piece laying around for years here in one of the bins so at last I used it in a journal Oops. mostly paper napkins on all kinds of backgrounds and some stenciling and stamping Just a photo I liked from some kind of magazine, so I created a background to go with it. Okay, here we go. This most uh, I think that most of the pages have a video for what I've done. 
I didn't do anything elaborate here. I just, this is a painting that I sold a long time ago on a large canvas and this is just a photocopy so I will have something to remember it by. So I thought it would be appropriate to put it on the cover of my journal. This has a video, this one also, also has a video. This I'm not sure, these are just all kinds of leftover pieces. Just a, this is mostly a swatch of um, the brush powder that I got. So sometimes swatching any kind of set of paint, whatever it is, if in it, even if it's just markers, can be a lovely background. This has a video. This I'm not sure, maybe there is a video. Again, just pieces. These are from a coloring book that I've done. And then I took the pieces and glued them to the back to create this background. This has a video. I think this one also has a video, so you can check it out. I think this one also has a video. And this one. This has a video, just smooshing paint. That's what created the start of the background. I think this one also has a video and this one also this one this has a video sure maybe this one has a video this one also this has a video and here is another a uh, printed flowers that I used to create um, some drawing and I even think I made a stencil out of it so I used the printed uh, image in this page this one has a video this one also not sure about this one <laughs> This has a video. This has this one has a video and it just wanted I really wanted to use my <laughs> washi tape. I have so many and I hardly use it, so I created this background with just pieces of washi tape and this is a drawing of mine. This has a video. These are just pieces of torn pieces of rice paper that I colored with watercolors. Just let the watercolors spread and then I glued it to the page and this just done by hand. This has a video. This one I've showed you on live stream how to do it. It's a uh, very simple also on the live stream. 
this is more uh, rec I've recently done a video and this one also I think I'll do a video about this one it's so simple I just let a uh, watercolors and brochures spread on the page and create this background and then I stenciled and done the focal point but it's really interesting when you let the water just do it it's a thing and not try to control control it this has a video this i'm not sure so that's it that's all <laughs> for this time i hope you liked it thank you for watching thank you for leaving me comments down below I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.